Hello, data fans! The streaming team has been cooking during my three week summer break, so let me quickly catch up with the news. Last month, I burned myself on a video trying to fit, to squeeze, to force Google authentication into Streamlit. I don't want to do odd ever again. Yet a few days later, one of Streamlit's product managers, I mean, Johannes knows me pretty well by now, contacted me to share the latest native one click button authentication prototype. And I was like, all right, let's do this one last time. I downloaded it, configured it with my previous Google OAuth 2 secret, and five minutes later, I authenticated with a button click and fetched my name, email, and profile picture. So if you two spent way too many weeks of your life authenticating in Streamlit, the prototype is now available on GitHub and should work on any OpenID Connect identity provider. If any of you tries it on Superbase or Firebase, let me know in the comments below and we shall all celebrate with you. Can you guess the common point between this Spotify, Notion and Airbnb UI? They are all streaming apps that are not based on exotic CSS hacks. Okay, maybe my mind is still trapped <laughs> into my summer break. It's official, the streaming team is consolidating a set of 10, 15 new theming configuration options to join the older set of color configurations. I suppose you can expect new fonts, button border radius, or default text size and spacing to come very soon. My ears can already hear some of you furiously clicking your keyboard like I don't care about more theming, I want to break streamly CSS to put my own color on that one divider in the middle of whatever app. Well, here's an upcoming secret feature the team doesn't want you to know about, but I'll share with you anyway. In a future streamed version, whatever you set as a key argument on a widget will become the ID for the div tag. This makes selecting the particular element through CSS a lot easier, so you can expect a fifth video about streamed CSS hacking soon. Aside from those two very awaited features, the Streamit PM revealed some more nuggets. Let me check what I can spoil. Selection and click events will be enabled soon on every map widget from 2D ST map to 3D Pi deck charts. Get back the GPS coordinates of your favorite restaurants without relying on the Streamit Folium components. With the advent of Mistral Spixtral, Google's Gemini, and Anthropic's Cloud 3, LLMs are becoming multimodal enough to explain memes your younger Gen Z sibling is sending you every day. In order to accept attached image, stchat input is coming with a new accept file argument, and every uploaded file will be of class uploaded file, which most file readers are able to consume. Speaking of Gen Z people, I feel like a boomer when my Gen Z badminton partner sends me 6 30 seconds vocal messages to answer my text message. Is that the preferred style of communication when you are young? Well, a new microphone audio input widget is being tested in Streamit headquarters, so you can practice recording your voice messages and have an LLM rate them for you. Taking at the Streamit public roadmap and active pull requests, it seems progress is being made on button groups and pills. I have no clue what this is, though I think I saw an experimental component for ST pills, so I guess this is similar. Oops, I forgot to put that back. Yeah, just came back from holidays, so... Anyway, here's a list of new resources to follow if you want to go deeper into Streamlit. Want to cook a quick Streamlit project to demo the latest Gen AI trends? The Streamlit team unveiled a new cookbook GitHub repository with integration into Gen AI frameworks like Llama Index, Weaviate, or Replit Agents. If you're subscribed to my channel, and if you're not, what are you waiting for? I have many data and web news to share with you. Then you came across ST Lite, a WebAssembly port of Streamlit by Withfix to run entirely in the browser. This project has gone a long way because now ST Lite powers the new Streamlit Playground, a dedicated sandbox to play with Streamlit in the browser without installing Python on your machine. You can share your code snippets to other colleagues since the script is part of the shared URL and if you exit your browser session to go buy some, I don't know, actually some chicken nuggets, the code stays in your local storage and reloads into your playground when you come back. If you deploy apps on Streamlit Cloud, maybe you notice a new tab on the top right of the Streamlit Cloud homepage, the Profile tab. Get ready to build your personal Streamlit portfolio with all your public apps showing and links to your socials to actually connect with you. 
and who knows, maybe more community features will be revealed soon. I, I don't know, I don't have any info, this is just speculation. That's it, now I need to unpack my summer suitcase, but stay tuned, and in the meantime, watch my burning down on Google Authentication and stream it. See you soon, bye!